What's happening guys? This is Shukesh Banik from India and you are watching Gadgets Portal. This is a full in-depth review on this very special Sony Xperia Z or Z whatever you say and beyond doubt this is the most beautiful device you can find in the market at this moment. If you are looking for a bold looking stylish Android device with very good specifications then this is just perfect for you. According to Sony, this phone has got omnibalance design statement that means this phone is focused on creating balance and symmetry in all directions. The handling and the build quality of this phone is also very premium. Here is the 5 inches display with 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution with 441 ppi which is superb and it is powered by mobile Bravia engine too. The front glass is a dragon trail glass and the back glass is a gorilla glass though it is not officially confirmed. Both of these glasses are shutterproof as well. Here is the tiny earpiece with the front facing 2.2 megapixels camera with full HD recording and there is a tiny notification LED light here though it is not visible at this moment. Here is the primary microphone and above that there is no hardware key because you are getting on screen android keys and I think this is a great thinking by Sony. This is a huge phone and while gaming you can easily stretch your fingers without touching capacitive keys which is a common scenario of Galaxy Note 2 and this will also help you to handle this phone with one hand. Here is the 13 megapixels camera which produces great quality images. Visit facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples. The LED here is not very powerful and you are also getting a secondary microphone for noise cancellation. The back glass is very shiny and attracts fingerprints but still I love it a lot. Here is the bold aluminum power key which resembles the distinctive hallmark of Sony mobile devices and the placement of this key is also great. Here is the volume rocker and the placement doesn't seem very user friendly. This is the loudspeaker grill and it is not very powerful and while handling this phone with your right hand you are actually covering it though while playing games or watching movies the sound coming from this loudspeaker feels great compared to loudspeakers on the back side. To give this device a better look Sony has somehow compromised the location of the keys. Here is the port for attaching 3.5mm headset jack which is covered under the door because this phone is water and dust proof. Here is the dock connector and above that you are getting the charging port as well as the micro SD card slot which is hot swappable. Here is the hole for attaching lanyard or charm. Though this phone sports a huge 5 inches display, the handling of this phone with one hand is surprisingly not bad. Here is the Galaxy Note 2 which has got a 5.5 inches display and the dimension is huge compared to Xperia Z. The rectangular slab design of Xperia Z is looking much better than the pebble shaped Galaxy Note 2 and the keys especially the power key on Xperia Z is looking much better. The edge to edge glass is looking more premium than the glossy plastic back cover on Galaxy Note 2. I'll upload a detailed comparison review between these two, check my channel for that. Well that's all in the exterior hardware design. Now let's have a quick tour on the Timescape user interface and obviously the full HD reality display and for that let me change the wallpaper to show you the actual capability of the display. And as you can see friends the color reproduction of this display is great. It is accurate and there is no question of noticing any single pixel even if you look from a shorter distance. The name of this wallpaper is Cookie HD Optic Balls and one thing you should know that Mobile Bravia Engine 2 is not active at this moment. That thing is active only in the gallery images and videos. Let me compare it with Galaxy Note 2 and as you can see guys the colors on Galaxy Note 2 are looking more saturated because it has got Super AMOLED display and there is no other display in the market that can beat Super AMOLED in color saturation and in black levels. 
you can easily notice the pixels on Galaxy Note 2 and regarding the viewing angles on Xperia Z, it's again not great compared to Super AMOLED but there is nothing to worry about because this is a TFT display and it has got more brightness and more accurate color reproduction compared to Super AMOLED. What you are seeing is the real natural color because of this very high PPI. Everything is looking very smooth and soothing to the eyes. Now let's talk about the beautiful graphics intensive Timescape user interface. There are a couple of new features Sony has added into its Timescape UI of Xperia Z. Though the overall feel and the icons, the widgets are looking exactly same as the previous versions. Overall, this user interface is more beautiful than other interfaces, mainly in the looks department and on this version of Timescape, you can now add home screens and also delete them. So this is a nice addition into this user interface. The good thing about this UI is that each and everything, every icon, every widget is very graphics intensive and you are getting nice effects. You can also resize very few of the widgets. Here is a note widget and you can resize it according to your requirement. So not only the exterior hardware design but also the user interface, the icons, the widgets, everything is looking very stylish, very bold, very robotic which goes with the design statement of this mobile phone. Here is the interactive window for adding widgets, adding applications which is very user friendly. You can also add wallpapers and also themes. These themes change the overall feel, overall color of the user interface. Now the best thing Sony has done into its user interface is the addition of small apps. Here are the running and recent applications which can be killed just by sliding and here are the small apps. I have already downloaded few apps from the Play Store and developers are working on new apps. Here is the place where you can find compatible small apps for this device. Small apps are floating pop-up windows which can be moved anywhere on the display and can be accessed without interrupting the normal process and there are a couple of other handy apps. For example this browser which is very very handy sometimes. If you wanna search for anything while reading a book or watching a movie or anything else, you can quickly check the web for any info. So this new feature is just awesome and I personally feel that this feature is more useful than the multi-window on TouchWiz Nature UX user interface. So far as you have seen, I am using this device with one hand and I am not facing any kind of problem handling this phone with one hand. Here on the notification window, there is very few things, very few toggle switches which are very handy but Sony should work on more customization on the notification panel just like TouchWiz user interface. Here is a typical Sony widget where you are getting a lot of other toggle switches. You can launch Google now just by long pressing the home key and you can also do that just by swiping your finger from the bottom edge of this display. I have already captured a lot of photos with the camera of this phone and so far the camera is great, especially in bright lighting condition and I have already uploaded these photos in full size in my website gadgetsportal.in and also on my Facebook page facebook.com slash gadgetsportal. Now there is a very special video player where you can play 4 HD videos simultaneously on the display. It is called X4 video player. Let me show you a demo. Here you go, you are watching 4 HD videos simultaneously though you will encounter few lags sometimes because these videos are of very high bitrate but still this is great, this is showing how powerful is this phone and look at the display, mobile Bravia engine is now working nice and what you are getting is a very colorful display. And you can also play 4 VGA quality videos simultaneously on this X4 video player. 
let's quickly check some important settings and as you know this phone is running on android jelly bean 4.1.2 4.2 is coming soon and the internal storage is 11.73 gb and you can install up to 64 gb of micro sd card here is the ram info and as you know this phone has got 2 gb of ram and at this moment you are getting 1.2 gb free which is great for a device like this you can play almost all the games with this ram space and also a lot of multitasking this phone has got nfc support and here under the call settings there are a couple of important settings like this microphone noise suppression and also this speaker voice enhancement this slow talk is also handy sometimes and you can also check this equalizer option under the call settings now here under the sound you can check this xloud sound enhancement and also this clear phase which can automatically adjust the sound quality of the internal speaker all of these technologies sound great and you should try this on this very special Sony Xperia Z here under the display. Sony has ultimately given you the option of auto brightness control. So looks like Sony has ultimately perfected its flagship model with all the basic and advanced options. Here under the power management you are getting this stamina mode which will actually disables the Wi-Fi mobile data and also background applications as soon as the display goes off and this thing is very handy. You will get around 4 hours of extra battery backup. There is also a low battery mode which actually does the same thing when the battery becomes very low. So these things are very handy and you should check this out. Here under this Xperia, you are also getting couple of other Sony exclusive applications you should check. Let's check the dialer on this device which is very neat and clean. The call quality of this device is very good though the earpiece should have been a little bit louder. But for normal talking that's okay. There is a very good headphone comes free with this device. The sound clarity and especially the bass from this headphone is great with Sony's clear audio plus technology and also the 3D surround sound. The music experience on this device is very good. Let's check the messaging especially the writing experience on this keyboard and the good news is that you can easily access the whole keyboard with one hand. There is no full stop or period on this keyboard. You have to double press on the space bar. You can use the continuous swipe input on this keyboard and the writing experience on this keyboard is very good. This is one of the best keyboards I have ever used. Let's check the camera on this device and I have already shown you some sample photos. Let's check the interface. There is a considerable lag. The camera quality of this phone is overall very good. It is very fast and you can also take videos from here. While videography you can also take photos of 1 megapixels only. Visit facebook.com slash gadgets portal for the camera samples. Now let's check some settings. There are a couple of handy options including this HDR which is very handy for taking photos of areas under shade. You are also getting this quick launch option which is also very handy sometimes. The resolution is up to 13 megapixels in 4 is to 3 aspect ratio and in 16 is to 9 it is up to 9 megapixels. Let's check the browsing experience and let's open my new website gadgetsportal.in. Here we go gadgetsportal.in where you will find the full in-depth review on this Xperia Z and also the camera samples in full size. Overall the browsing experience on this phone is very smooth. There is no lag or issue I am facing. The site is still loading because my Wi-Fi connection is not very fast at this moment. The lock screen of this phone also looks good and there is a very nice effect as you can see. You are also getting this camera and music shortcuts. Regarding the battery backup, I am overall very happy. 
I am getting around 1 to 1.5 days on heavy uses and around 2 days on normal uses with wireless off. So friends, this Sony Xperia Z is a fantastic device. I really liked the rectangular slab robotic design and the polished high quality material used in this phone. The user interface also goes with the bold design statement of this phone. So if you are looking for a very stylish device with very good user interface and also very good multimedia experience that is better music, camera and video playback and obviously the build quality then this phone is just perfect for you. Unlike Galaxy series phones, this phone feels so premium in hand and the handling is so good. Get this device only for the look and the build. This phone doesn't have that much fancy features as Galaxy S4 or Galaxy S3, Galaxy Note 2 but the user interface is very handy. If you are not fond of those fancy options then go for this device. So that's all guys. Visit gadgetsportal.in for the full in-depth review and also visit facebook.com slash gadgetsportal for the camera samples. You can also check my new channel gadgetsportal play at youtube.com slash gadgetsportal play. So that's all for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye and take care.